The name of this project is 9-5 and uh, it has a subtitle that says because it's easier to ask forgiveness than it is to ask permission. This installation project is part of our Intermedia program and for this particular project we were encouraged to work with recycled and reusable materials and to explore light and possibly even uh, and add a little bit of uh, sound and audio. So, this is, uh, we decided to use old clothing, which is often discarded, but it also leaves a lot of traces of personality and has a lot of interesting dimensions to it. So it's, it's titled Sprangia, and we basically just collaborated a bunch of styrofoam cups and bowls of all different shapes and sizes together to create spore-like structures to make it look as though it's infesting the school somehow. Um, attaching it was really hard. We used like fishing wires, hot glue, tape, anything of the sorts that worked. And since we had to incorporate light somehow, that's when we got the inspiration to put it on the windows to have the sunlight come through and then use it on our artificial light structures. It's not just a place. It is um, kind of reflective of an installation, uh, changing the place that you're in and having it in the campus itself was uh, an interesting interaction. Um, that way we, we didn't want it to be, just be uh, people had to go in it. It could be up to the person to decide whether they were brave enough to gain something from the experience. You do gain an experience from the outside. Again, it's like a visual piece and you still hear the audio uh, piece from outside, but it's different when you go inside. Uh, the working title is called um, What Have We Gotten Ourselves Into and it's supposed to be about um, oil spills and about how when you like see an oil spill um, in the news, people don't really pay attention to it anymore. It's been, kind of become like second hand, like you just hear about it all the time so it doesn't really have the same effect that it used to. So then, um, and that's kind of like really sad actually, so we want to kind of bring attention to the fact that there's still a big issue and it's still our problem that we have to deal with. So then we're like, well, now instead of it's just being like ducks and wildlife being affected, it's now us. So that's why we used the human baby as the thing that's getting affected from the oil spill, which is actually our fault. A lot of the assignments ask us to look back into like a more personal side of ourselves to inspire us into a new project. So when we have a video assignment or a drawing assignment, they ask us like a place in our lives that we'd want to metaphorically show in drawing or a painting or a video. And it helps you kind of like grasp and understand things in your own way artistically and non-artistically. What inspired us to go about doing this project this way is that uh, both Anya and I had taken um, a bit of a hiatus from schooling and we both pursued office work, which was not particularly flattering to, to either of us. And uh, we wanted to explore that and kind of make this piece where somebody is coming out of the city shell and just disappearing entirely. Like they're finding their true identity and leaving behind the city grime that had managed to capture them. Well, I know that I personally, I didn't want it to be like in your face. This is an oil spill. This is like not as like artistic to me. I still wanted to have like some type of um, where there still can be in interpretation. So then um, originally we were just going to have just fabric behind babies, but then um, our teacher was like, you have to affect the fabric somehow to kind of get, so you understand that's like something like visceral and gross. There's still like interpretation allowed, but it, it still gets our point across no matter what.